Okay, uh, okay, now to the next few sentences of the Kesa Sangjon first line or first chapter. Okay, Bangi Yu Chigo, Buri Kun Pun Hani, Gil Hyungi Seng Yo, Che Chon Song Samko, Che Ji Song Hyung Hani, Pyon Hua Gyon Mira. Okay, so let's go over this together. This here says that the direction, Pang is direction, okay? And um, <clears throat> this talks about direction. Pang is direction, okay? The first character for Pang is direction. And this one is Ru, or material things. So the direction, the four directions, for example, or um, the energy all around us is immaterial and the mul of all things is material. So in this sentence, Confucius is comparing the immaterial energy, okay, uh, space with the material, which is uh, all phenomena, things, humans, okay. So it says here that that the energy around us gathers. Okay, um, these two characters are for gather. Okay, yu qi. Yu means to pair together. Qi means uh, groups. Okay, so the energy around us comes together, forming groups. Okay, or uh, you can think of this as energy that's coming together to form a natural order or an underlying truth, okay, which permeates everything. Muri kun hani. All things form pairs and then differentiate between the pairs, okay. Hani ki hyungi sengi yo. This is what determines uh, the difference between what is auspicious and what is dangerous, okay. So, in the I Ching, all lines have either Gil or Hyun associated with them. When it is a prosperous situation, a uh, auspicious situation, then we would associate the line with Gil, okay, which means with means prosperous. If it is a dangerous situation and we must stay put, we must stay um, patient then we will see Hyung. Hyung means if we decide to just be hasty and move ahead in this situation, we will face calamity. Uh, okay. So, what this is saying is that Pang, the energy around us, which here is associated with heaven, okay, is bringing all uh, energy, life together. And Bul, which is associated with the earth, okay, is, is what forms groups. And these groups separate. They differentiate between the, all things around them. Bang, this character, is associated with heaven, associated with the space. Bul, this character, is associated with Earth. Bang is associated with the first hexagram, which is uh, Gon, okay, or Tian hexagram. And this is the Chinese character. And um, Mu is associated with the second hexagram, which is, which is uh, Gon, okay, second hexagram. <clears throat> In the second line, we also see Jie Chun. Chun means heaven, okay, is associated with Pang. Jie Ji, which is earth, is associated with uh, the material, Mu, okay, material. So comparing the energy of heaven, which brings together all things in a natural order. And then we have the earth, which brings together people things in pairs, and these pairs, once they form, 
find out what makes them different, okay? This is what is uh, represented by Gil and Hume. Uh, what is prosperous, auspicious, and what is dangerous uh, or inauspicious, okay? Um, so, <clears throat> this character here, Gun, okay, Buri Gun Bun, okay, Gun means to form pairs, okay, form pairs. Now, the character for Gun here is this one on the left plus this one on the right, okay. Now, the character on the left is uh, the the radical on the left is for kunja or gentleman or learned one. Okay, uh, the kunja in the I Ching is talked about in each hexagram talks about the kunja or the learned one. The learned one looks at each hexagram, looks at each situation, and understands the underlying meaning. Okay, the underlying meaning. So. Uh, what we are saying here is that the common people form a relationship with the gentleman, with the learned one, with the gunja. And the common people here is represented by this character, or yang, which means sheep. Okay, so the sheep is the, sh the sheep is the common people. The gun is the learned one. Together they form a pair, common people and the learned one. Okay. Uh, form a pair, and that's how um, they prosper. Okay, here we see the second one is the character for separation. Okay, once things come together, once material things come together, then they by nature separate. Okay, the energies of heaven, when they come together, they form a natural order, a consistent natural order. When two things come together, what happens is they collide or they break down, okay? But here we're not talking of in Bang or heaven sense, we're not talking about two things colliding. Uh, we're talking about them coming together. So in an immaterial sense, all things come together and form a relationship. This relationship is called Hatta. Hatta. Hatta means the coming together, uniting of energies. So we cannot mix two things unless we have a third, right, or a third energy. Uh, that third energy is the hapto, okay? When two things of different natures come together quickly, again, they collide and break down, okay? So this hapto is the coming together of energies. So two people coming together and loving each other, okay? Uh, that type of energy. Two people cannot become one, okay? They will just, if they uh, try very, very hard, they will just wind up breaking down, okay? Or they will just wind up hurting each other. But a husband and wife can become one through love, okay? This is what hapdok means. Dok means virtue. And hap means to come together, combine. So when we talk about combining virtue, we're talking about combining energy, okay? We're not talking about just the colliding, okay? When, when material things come together, we say that they add together, okay? When energy comes together, we say that they multiply together, okay? So, for example, if we have one plus one, right, we have two. Okay, this two is the combination of one and one, okay? It can be broken down, okay? So we can break it, break it back down, say, to one. Um, but when we talk about hapdok, we're talking about one times one equals one, okay? So this is obviously different than this. This one is different than this one. They're two separate, but they come together and they form one, okay? Just one, a single. And this is because they combine their energies. Multiplication is the combining of energy. Addition is the addition of material. So one plus one plus one plus one. One times one times one times one. You can have many, many, many different ones, but they all, when they multiply, form a single, still one. 
you can have many different one adding one and to one to one to one and the number keeps getting larger okay so this is what hapdok means hapdok okay so in this situation when things come together we're not talking about hapdok okay and as a result we need to differentiate what do we need to differentiate every moment of our life is it necessary to hold back or to move on hold back or to move on once we have connected with the energies around us it is time to decide whether it's prosperous to move on or to hold back okay with the basis of the uh, the energy of the heavens or with the basis of the underlying truth okay so understanding this helps us understand this the two together are what help us decide whether it's important to move forward or to hold back. Each line of the hexagram will have an underlying meaning and, and a meaning associated with the here and now. Okay? Jae Chun Song Sang. The heavens form the four, uh, the heavens form the sang or the symbols. Okay? Heaven forming symbols. The earth forms the form, okay? Form or manifestation, okay? This is symbols, okay? And then, this is where all transformation appears. This is where all transformation manifests, okay? This pyeonghwa means change, okay? We have change and transformation. The first character here, pyeon, means uh, to change, and hwa means to transform, okay? Transformation and change. So, when we talk about symbols, we're talking about the, uh, the energy from the heavens. When we're talking about form, we're talking about the energy from the earth. Form is something that is very concrete. A symbol is something that is malleable. For example, uh, a symbol, uh, for example, a red light. A red light, red is the symbol, okay? But red can be applied to many, many different... Uh, if we look at red as a symbol, Red can be applied to many different things, okay? Not just a red light, okay? But if we look at the traffic light, the form, we're saying that, yes, this is a traffic light and it is applied only to a situation of traffic, okay? In traffic. So, the symbols also represent the hexagrams. Hexagrams. The hexagrams are symbols which represent all phenomena, the 64 hexagrams, okay? So, heaven uses symbols to communicate, to, uh, to teach uh, the commoners, the common people, how to establish their underlying truth, okay? Um, each of the 64 hexagrams are ways to, are like, a different sections of the truth that through the hexagrams we can understand heaven's meaning okay so when we talk about the symbols and the hexagrams uh, we're basically talking about being able to apply these hexagrams to many situations and they're very symbolic of every situation that you and I may face on a daily basis form is very concrete okay so earth forms Heaven symbolizes, okay? So we're talking about concrete. We're also talking about manifest, shape, okay? So the symbols don't have a shape. The form has a shape, okay? So when we say red, red doesn't have a shape, but the traffic light does have a shape, okay? So this is what we mean by symbols and form, okay? This character here, gyeon yao, gyeon means to manifest. So cha change and transformation manifest through the symbols and the form.
okay, through heaven and earth. That's what helps change manifest. Another thing to note here is that the sang, or symbol, and yang, or form, form a internal external relationship, okay, or a non-manifest manifest relationship. This is called a che yong relationship. Che means the internal, not manifest. Yong means external, manifest. So what we're talking about here is that the symbols need a form in order to manifest. And form need to be built on the symbols to have meaning, okay? So without form, symbols, ha symbols cannot manifest. They cannot uh, 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 partake and interact. And without the symbols, form cannot take place either, okay? So action without meaning, life without meaning, okay? words without meaning. The character for dog is, or virtue, is very, very interesting. It has several different radicals in it. The first radical is on the left, and it's for human, okay? Human being. The second one is this one, which before we said represents the number 10 or heaven energy. The second one is just a straight line, which represents earth. The third one is the character for four. Okay, so here we're talking about the four symbols. Four sa, sa is four sang symbols. So the four symbols that represent all things in the universe. What are the four symbols? The four symbols are born from the Tai Chi, the center, which is the Tai Chi, gives birth to yin and yang, which then gives birth to yin within yin, yang within yin, yang within yang, yin within yang. Those are the four representatives. The very first manifestation of yin and yang in all, underlying all phenomena. So that's what we have here by four. Okay, so heaven and earth coming together and establishing the four symbols. And then we have the character here for heart, okay? Heart. This is heart, the human heart. Within the human heart exists all phenomenon, exists the four virtues, okay? The four virtues. If we look at the first line in lieu of Confucius, for Confucius's four virtues, we see that the heaven aspect or the former part of this line is associated with ye means humility, okay? Humility, modesty. And the second part of this uh, sentence is associated with we. Li means righteousness, righteousness. So when we talk about Ye, we're talking about heaven's nature, okay? Or the nature, the ability to heaven, uh, ability of heaven to uh, yield, be modest, and bend down so that the energy is flowing down to the earth, okay? Rather than Yang just continuing to rise, that it bends down and communicates with the earth. Okay, so this means modesty, humility. Yi means righteousness. It also means finding meaning. Okay, so when we talk about yu qi or forming groups, okay, um, forming uh, pairs, uh, we are talking about coming together. Okay, so this ye is the ability to yield to another person so that both of us share those same energies. Here, this we, uh, we're talking about here, gun pun. So we are in groups now, and now we figure out what our specialties are. So righteousness has that meaning within it, the ability to find meaning. Why am I different? What makes me special? What makes me a part of the energies in the world around me? So this we is describing 
righteousness. So the ability to tell the difference between right and wrong, prosperous and not prosperous, or dangerous, okay? Auspicious and non-auspicious. So that ability comes from Rui. The coming together, yielding, modesty, is Ye. And that comes from the heaven's ability, or the direction, four directions, encompassing all phenomena, okay? And not just kicking it out, or throwing it away, but constantly embracing it. 